GlidePro Stackable Solutions allows you to predictably plan and execute a full arch implant surgery using a crown down restorative based approach. Glidewell guides you through the implant planning process and they also fabricate beautiful definitive restorations in one of the largest implant labs in the country. Because starting with the end in mind is the key to a successful surgery. GlidePro helps you create a restorative based treatment plan enabling precise implant placement, pre-selection of your multi-unit abutments, and the provisional to final prosthesis that fits the plan from the start. Based on varying surgical needs, GlidePro stackable solutions are offered in three tiers. Tier one includes digital treatment planning with an osteotomy guide for guided implant placement for up to two sites. Additional sites in the same arch are an additional fee. Tiers two and three offer digital treatment planning and guides for unlimited numbers of sites in the same arch. Tier two adds same day design services for clinicians who wish to 3D print the provisional in office. And tier three includes chair side pickup, PMMA provisional integrated into the surgical stack for immediate loading. To get started, Gladwell will need key patient records, CBCT, facial images, and intraoral scans. From these, a dental avatar is created with a digital ideal wax up. This serves as the foundation for determining bone reduction, implant positioning, and abutment selection. For these larger cases, a virtual review session is included. This allows the clinician to collaborate directly with the Gladwell planner, reviewing the digital wax up, implant positions, and abutment choices before final approval. Let's take a closer look at what's included with the GlidePro stackable solutions. The model allows the clinician to visualize the planned reduction and to verify fit and implant positioning before surgery. The seating guide is designed to rest on the pre-extracted teeth, providing a stable reference point for accurate placement of the foundation guide. It ensures precise positioning for fixation pin placement, setting the stage for the surgical stack. Fixation pins secure the foundation guide during surgery with three color-coded lengths, green at 13 millimeters, pink at 15 millimeters, and brown comes in at 20 millimeters. Matching color bands on the drills and guide sleeves provide clear visual cues for accurate and efficient placement. The foundation guide, also known as the bone reduction guide, is the first guide in the stackable system. It defines the planned bone level and serves as the stable base onto which all subsequent surgical guides are stacked and secured. Designed to sit on the buccal bone, it provides a reliable reference for bone reduction. In FP1 cases, the guide is contoured to allow for guided scalloping, while in FP3 cases, it is flat or level as shown here. Once secured with fixation pins, the foundation guide remains in place through the surgery, including implant placement and the prosthetic PMMA pickup if included. From this foundation, each subsequent part of the GlidePro stackable guide system is secured to the foundation guide using either pins, magnets, or a combination of both, based on the clinician's preference. If no preference is specified, the default configuration will be pins, as shown here. The osteotomy guide stacks securely on the foundation guide and directs the precise angulation, depth, and position of the implant drills according to the pre-planned surgical plan. It ensures accurate osteotomy preparation for predictable implant placement. Multi-unit abutments provides a stable, prosthetically driven platform that simplifies the restorative process, compensates for implant angulation, and protects the implant interface over time. They're essential for achieving a passive fit, retrievability, and long-term maintenance in full arch fixed implant cases. The angled multi-unit abutment guide attaches to the foundation guide after implant placement and assists in accurately positioning angled MUAs based on the pre-planned orientation. Colored notches on the guide indicate the correct rotational position of each angled MUA, aligning with the implant level screw channel to ensure proper seating. This helps guarantee that the prosthetic access channels are positioned as planned for a predictable restorative outcome. These final components are included in the tier three package and are specifically designed for the chair side pickup of a PMMA provisional. The gasket for relining prosthesis is placed around each MUA and sits beneath the PMMA during the pickup process. It acts as a barrier to prevent acrylic from flowing into the flap surgical site, protecting the bone and ensuring a clean controlled reline. Used in conjunction with the gaskets, blockout shims are placed inside each temporary cylinder 
to prevent acrylic from entering the screw access channel during pickup. Together, they help ensure a clean and predictable provisionalization. Temporary stock cylinders, MUA level, are pre-cut and laser etched for each implant site, ensuring proper height and identification. For relining, a low shrinkage tearside acrylic such as Stellar is recommended to ensure accuracy and minimize distortion during setting. The immediate fixed screw retain provisional implant prosthesis is a prefabricated PMMA restoration delivered at the time of surgery. It is designed to attach directly to the MUAs, providing patients with an aesthetic, functional fixed solution immediately after implant placement. The implant verification prosthesis is a monochromatic duplicate of the PMMA provisional, designed to be picked up intraorally using a second set of temporary cylinders. It serves as both a verification tool and a backup provisional and can be used as a starting point for the restorative phase in stage two. If you would like to learn more, visit glidewell.com backslash glidepro.